Today, we're going to talk about how to build self-confidence and personal self-esteem. Without these things, anything like building a business or trying to do something new can be daunting because you will doubt yourself. You won't have the self-confidence to go forward. You won't have the ability to make your mark. So what are the first things that you need to develop self-confidence and high personal esteem? Number one thing you need are goals. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to just say, I am self-confident. That's not going to work. What I'm going to tell you to do is set goals and get very busy about accomplishing them. This builds self-confidence. This builds personal esteem. And the self-confidence comes when you're working on your goals, when you actually are working, you see progress, and you achieve your goals. When I wrote my first book, man, that was a massive self-confidence and personal esteem builder because I set a hard goal. Your goals cannot be cupcake goals. Your goals need to be stuff of substance. They need to be things that challenge you because as you move through the process of accomplishing that goal, this is when the self-confidence develops. You can't fake this. And, you know, once again, it goes back to activity. You must be a busy, busy person. Setting goals and accomplishing them is the number one way to raise your self-confidence and personal esteem. When you set a big goal, like I set a goal when I started this YouTube channel to sell my book and make $50,000, and I gave myself two years to accomplish that. I crushed that in 11 months. So self-confidence just was oozing out the pores. And in year two, I had almost made three times that. I made three times that much. So once again, setting big goals is the way to self-confidence and personal esteem. One of the problems with today is we live in a microwave society where everybody wants results like that, results like that, results like that. Let's get it done so we can move to the next thing. Let's get it done and move to the next thing. I tried to become a writer not once, not two times, but three times. The third time was the charm. The third time was when I made that move to start a project and finish it. And this is very important with your goal setting. You got to set challenging, scary goals that you cannot achieve overnight. Once again, you, you cannot it's like set a goal on something you know you can do. That's not going to build your self-confidence. Building your self-confidence is walking on faith. It is looking at certain things and doing things a certain way. I saw a video the other day with Grant Cardone, and he was in Greece or somewhere, and he was dancing with his shirt off. Dude is 61, 62 years old. And he's in phenomenal shape. Grant Cardone has a lot of self-confidence. And he has done a lot. Self-confidence comes from doing stuff. Not being or hoping. But self-confidence comes from doing stuff. And if you look at the most confident people that you know, they all have a legacy of have done some things. Like the father who raises his kids you know, and they turn out to be good people. He's self-confident about raising kids. Uh, the guy who knows how to sail a sailboat, who's been through some stormy seas, and he, he's very self-confident with selling a sailboat. Someone who builds a business and has been successful is very confident about building businesses. And in the realm of building businesses, you need self-confidence and you need high personal self-esteem 
because the process of building businesses, it will tear you down. There's first the uh, people who don't believe in you. They're all around. They're your friends. They're people online. They just simply don't believe you have the juice to do what you, you say you're going to do. They have no faith in you, none whatsoever. So every day as you're on your grind, as you're building your business, each day your self-confidence is under attack. It could be the most innocuous little comment that can wound your self-confidence. Uh, one of the things that got me when I first started YouTube, I used to take things way too deep and way too personally, and I would go after people. I would just, you know, oh, you say that, you're going to start a war. And I would like be saying stuff about their mama and just going off on them. And over the years, I've developed a much tougher skin. And part of that is the self-confidence and the legacy of putting out helpful, positive content that helps people change their lives. So when somebody, and it doesn't happen that often, that's one of the good things. Typically it happens when I come across a new Jack, some young buck, somebody who feels, and this is, this is the way of the internet world, for you to get attention, you go after people who are bigger than you and use their name. That's one of the ways that many people make a name for themselves, like Vegan Gains. He went after every top fitness person, and that's how his channel got so big. The Leafy is here. That This is a common tactic from people who don't have the talent or ability to grow under their own power. So they must tear people down. And... One of the things is, is getting to the point where it's very hard to tear me down. And that gives me a lot of personal self-confidence because look at the body of work. This is what you must do to build high personal self-confidence and high self-esteem. You must get busy. You must set goals accomplish these goals and get results. Once you start getting a lot of results under your belt, you're going to be so confident. And this is something that anybody can do. It's just a matter of putting in the work, showing up and showing out. Tyler Perry, his first play, no one showed up. His second play, only a handful of people showed up, literally like six or seven. And he went through this process of building himself and building his business because he did two things at the same time. He built his business and he built his personal self-confidence and self-esteem. When, you know, he got to the point where he like, hey, I'm going to go to this theater, tickets sell out in days. And he has a whole theater run where everything just sells out. You know, Pilot Perry built his own economy built his own cash flow machine and that's really not an easy thing to do so tyler perry is a very confident person with high personal self-esteem and you know he gets attacked quite a bit because you know he's not married he has no kids the boondocks incident but tyler perry he keeps on moving and this is one of the things that you have to realize if you're going to be somebody in this world today, there's going to be people who will support you, who will be on the team, who will look out for you. And there will be people who will be haters. No matter what you do, there's going to be some people who are going to love you and there are going to be some people who are not going to like. You. And for whatever reason that this must be, the only thing that you can manage is how you deal with with those crises, how you deal with those slings and arrows and how you deal with all of that stuff. I mean, that's going to be a big part of how you do in life because in everybody's life, a little rain is going to happen.
you're gonna wake up and it's, it's gonna be storming and thunder clouds rain's gonna happen and the only thing you can manage is you and when you manage when you have high personal self-confidence and high self-esteem the management of these little hiccups is so much easier than when you don't because when i started youtube you know many 10 years ago you know august 3rd will be the, the 10th year going into the 11th there was so many things that were said that were derogatory there was a lot of things that were said that were very positive and i chose to concentrate on the people who were supporting me and supporting the agenda one of the things that you got to understand for you to build personal high personal self-confidence and high self-esteem you must take risk you can't get here without risk i don't care what any one of those woo woo books will tell you about just think that you'll be confident and you'll be confident no um you know there's guys who are confident with women but if you look at them they've approached a lot of women they've been in many situations and the thing is one of the guys i know who was very confident with women he said, I was a nerd in high school and girls didn't like me. He said, what you see today is a process of building in me approaching women and learning how to talk to women. This is the path. You know, this is why I say MIG toe and red pill is a scarcity mindset, not a solution based mindset. Because when you seek out solutions, when you're, a, you know, like, you're in problem solving mode. I don't have high self-confidence. I don't have high self-esteem. How do I get it? I'm going to set some big audacious goals and I'm going to get busy. And that seems to be one of the craziest parts about the internet. People like to talk about their problems more than they like to apply solutions to their problems. This is something I've seen over and over and over again. And when you become a solution oriented, a solution based person, you don't have time for all of the trash and garbage and stuff that you see online. You just don't have the time for it because you're too busy working on solutions. Um, like take my video, how to find gold at garage and estate sales. It's an old video. It's a tutorial video. And if you follow the directions, to that video, you'll make money for free. But why don't people do this? Because they don't have self-confidence. Because, you know, I, I, I'm beginning to understand why people don't do certain things. They don't have confidence to try, even though in my mind, it's a simple thing. But in their mind, it's this huge, scary monster. And, you know, I'm a guy on the internet just saying, hey, go to garage sales and do X, Y, and Z. And they don't have the personal self-confidence or the high level of self-esteem to even try. This is why it is so important to have these things when you're building a business. It is of the utmost importance because when you don't have these things, it's hard to make a go. It is hard to live the life that you want it's hard to develop the relationships it's hard because I, I will tell you one of the things that i used to do and I, I mean maybe i was just a jack wagon but whenever i had a problem with a company i would always call the ceo's office or i would email the ceo's office and i always got a response see the ceo is never going to hear about it but the CEO, the CEO's executive assistant knows everything about that company. She knows who to plug you into to get your problem solved. I had a problem with Comcast years ago. And I called the CEO. And then what I did, because they had put some stuff in my credit report. And I called the CEO and I found that they had a local office. And I went to the Atlanta courthouse and filed a lawsuit as Comcast. My problem after communicating that I had filed a lawsuit to their Cumberland office here in Atlanta, my problem was solved in three days.
including the removal of that junk off my credit report. And once again, doing stuff like that builds self-confidence that you can get problems handled. You don't have to take this junk in life, but it's all about action. It's all about action. You've got to take action. You have got to take action. You've got to set goals. You got to get busy. You got to be a hustler. You got to be aggressive and you, you got to be tenacious because just sitting back and hoping you would develop self-confidence and personal esteem, just sitting back and breathing, whatever issues you have with confidence and whatever issues you have with personal self-esteem, they're going to get worse because you're not doing anything to solve, to solve those. So I got a little commercial for you guys after this video teaching you how to go through the hustler hustlers university.com and where to start. So you can start building self-confidence, high self-esteem and a business. You build a business from scratch. You're going to become very self-confident. You're going to have loads of self-esteem because you've done something that most people do not do. And you should be proud of yourself. I remember my aunt bunny she told me this when she was 90 90 right now she's no longer with us she died at 99 she almost made 100 and she said i am so proud of the things you've done you wrote a book because see in life we don't have many people who are telling you that they're proud of you you just don't really hear that that often if ever there's some people who've never ever had anyone say Hey, I'm proud of you. You know, good job. Never, ever happened. And you have to be your own cheerleader, your inner cheerleader to get this thing going. But stay tuned. The commercial starts now. Hey, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel They'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life because this is one of the things that i have learned when i was doing 30 days to 2500 i learned that there were some people who did better than others and i was like why are these people doing better than other people what's going on with these people and what i have discovered and let's see let me go ahead and get that what i've discovered is that people who came in with a business already they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under 
All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they book the console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming the Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done how to, what's the priority, what's not priority, this course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get, Scripted Days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits, it will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had a, a business or be a superior mindset the foundational courses will give you the superior mindset let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start this next section is for you typically business success comes from practicing business skills one of the best ways to do that is by reselling you got to get your feet wet this is where you will start with the reselling courses uh this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well? So go ahead, you know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, 
don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book, or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting a generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale that first load of money it becomes addictive it becomes very addictive now what i'm going to do for the you know starting next week there's going to be a lot of new training so i'm going to do a video probably sunday or monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that now if you have never started a business this stuff is good for you especially 30 days to 2,500 and the money management course. I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You You need to learn how to hold on the money. And this is what the course teaches you. So 
you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff. But the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff, uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that 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 thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what on this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses, then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.